Hey folks, Brian Cooley here from On Cars. I got another one of your emails about high-tech cars and modern driving. And this one comes in from Chris S, who wants to know about LCD instrument panels. In the last episode of On Cars, you mentioned LCD coming on to instrument panels in a big way. Why don't automakers use OLED, organic light emitting diode tech for these displays? Well, Chris, good point. I actually meant LCD and the coming OLED. I should have said that. This whole idea of these addressable pixel displays are starting to really change what's happening in the dashboard and give us a very different look. So whether it's light emitting diode or organic light emitting diode, they are part of the future. Take a look at the things we've seen from Visteon recently, one of the biggest suppliers to car makers. And they're not the only company that is pushing hard to say, hey, we've got the tech, car makers. Let's start putting it in your dashboards to get rid of swinging needles and little glowing idiot lights. It's gonna be a fascinating future. Now, there are some reasons that OLED will be so great in cars. One is, it's a thinner technology, really thin, almost paper thin. And that's a good thing, because it allows for better packaging. The dashboard is tight. It's full of so many components these days that literally saving a couple of millimeters in thickness compared to gauges, or even compared to LCD, matters to the engineers out there. It also uses less energy, OLED does. It's known for this in televisions, for example. Using less energy also means you throw off less heat. These are both wins for car makers because their electrical systems are really strained these days with the amount of tech we're putting into cars. And heat trapped in a dash is always the enemy of durability. It tends to cook things and make them fail sooner. OLED's gonna help in that direction in two ways. OLED's also known for being flexible. It's a great flexible substrate that allows you to make these curved, kind of multi-contoured displays. We see them all the time on the auto show circuit, on concept cars, and they never come to the showroom. And the last thing is touch. And this can be a little tricky on OLED. Not that it's impossible. There are phones on the market that are OLED touch displays. But in the car space, you want to make sure you're using resistive touch, usually. That's the kind of touch where you have to press with a little bit of pressure. It's considered a cruder technology in many circles. However, it's good for the car because it works if you've got a glove on, for example, in cold weather. That's different from capacitive touch, which most of our advanced smartphones have, which is much more nuanced. You barely have to touch the screen, and it also supports multi-touch. Now, some cars do that now, but in general, they like a little more robust, simple, resistive touch. And all of this is done by a separate touch layer sandwiched on front of the OLED display. That means they want that touch layer to be very thin so it doesn't obviate the benefits of OLED being thin in the first place. So these are some of the challenges and benefits, but OLED's absolutely gonna revolutionize the dashboard in less than the next decade. You'll be amazed what you see in front of you when you drive.